Tanya here with the latest episode of Movie Maker Magazine. Today, I'm talking to award-winning director Ryan Prowse about his film, Narco Corrido. Let's take a look at a clip. Driver with your right hand, open the door, and the vehicle with keys in hand. Turn around, facing forward. Got a, got my license and registration right here. Stop. Narco Corrido is the story of a uh, female border cop uh, who's robbing a cartel shipment. Uh, and it's told in the style of Narco Corrido, which is a Mexican folk ballad. How did you come up with the idea behind your film? It was just so different to me when I first saw it because it's this polka style uh, music. Uh, with You know, guys are in flashy suits, guns, you know, around. And, and I laughed at it. And a friend of mine said, no, here's what these guys are actually talking about. And it really hit me that, oh, you know, they're telling very, very personal stories. I instantly could relate to that type of storytelling and wanted to, you know, bring that to life. When you were writing your script, did you already have it translated into Spanish or did you leave that up to your main actors? Uh, yeah, I wrote it all in English. Actually, it was very fortunate. Uh, I went to the American Film Institute and a fellow director there, uh, he translated everything for us. So that was really helpful. And then uh, when we cast Raul uh, Castillo, he was actually, he was the first guy that read for it and instantly, you know, I, he, I was like, he's got it. So uh, he really helped then on set and after the fact of pushing all of us through, making sure everything was, you know, uh, super legit and making sure we captured the flavor. Was it always your intention to have Raul play the driver and then also the singer at the end? Just to give it as much as we could, like really celebrate what this genre of music does. Uh, with we, we see this guy, we laugh at what this you know this band and this music first represents, and then we gain a perspective through his travels, and we can then approach what the song actually means. So it's just like you know a way to pull you into what this music means and take you on kind of the same journey I you know first went on when I started finding out about the music. 